glad to see you today. We are beginning a new month. It's May. I just love May. This month, we're going to learn about the Holy Spirit. Well, have you ever felt confused? Can you make a confused face? Well, today in our Bible story, we're going to hear about Philip, or Phil, and his new friend from Ethiopia, who didn't understand the Bible. The words confused him. God sent the Holy Spirit as a special helper to help us after Jesus went to heaven. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but he's with us. The Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. The Holy Spirit helped Phil explain the Bible to his friends. So let's get started. Let's learn a new memory verse for me. Are you ready? For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. And that's found in the Bible in Romans 8, 14. Good job. Now, everyone, stand up and let's worship God and get ready to sing.
love it when my parents let me vlog because I get to spend time learning with all of you. So, you want to see what I found yesterday? Yesterday, I went to my very dark attic. Have you ever been in an attic? It's the space above your house that people don't usually live in. It's more for old stuff people want to keep. Usually, dark places like that are scary to me. But it's not so bad when I'm playing hide and seek with my brother. So, I was hiding for an extra long time and found something very interesting. I thought I would find an ancient Egyptian mummy up there or a huge spider or a whole spider family. But there were these old albums. I opened up one and I saw pictures of my mom when she was little. Like me. I felt like I traveled in a time machine or something. A lot of people tell me I look just like my mom. And this picture showed that they were right. Now that I think about it, my mom passed down some other things to me too. Like how much she loves animals and singing. You know, the Bible tells us about something else that was passed down to all of us. Want to hear about it? It's time for our Bible story. This story comes from the book of Acts, chapter 8, and begins with a man named Philip. We'll call him Phil. An angel of God came to Phil and told him to travel south on a desert road. Phil was a follower of Jesus, and it was time for him to spread the good news about who Jesus was and what he had done. Sounds cool, but also hard. It would be, but Phil had a helper. That helper is called the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised that after he went to heaven, he would send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guides us, comforts us, and helps us to know God better. The Holy Spirit also helps us to tell others about God. So the Holy Spirit led Philip to a chariot that was on that desert road. The man inside was from a far off place called Ethiopia. Say that with me, Ethiopia. Good, he was on his way home from Jerusalem. He hadn't heard about the good news about Jesus yet and that's exactly what Phil was coming to tell him. Crazy, right? But it gets even better. This man from, say it with me, Ethiopia was reading at that very moment the words of the prophet Isaiah. Prophets were people that told the truth and Isaiah was known as the good news prophet because he told the truth about a savior who would be coming a long time before Jesus even came to earth. Naturally, this man didn't really understand what he was reading. But remember, the Holy Spirit had sent Phil to this man for that very reason. Phil explained that the savior Isaiah was talking about was Jesus. The man was so amazed that he decided he wanted to follow Jesus too. He asked Phil to baptize him in a body of water nearby. And when he had come out the water, Phil was gone. The Holy Spirit led Phil somewhere else to tell more people about Jesus. Knowing God or even wanting to know God can seem hard and confusing sometimes, but the Holy Spirit is God's gift to us, just like he was to Phil and the man from Ethiopia. The Holy Spirit is the part of God that goes with us. The Holy Spirit is God's gift, someone who can be with us and help us want to know God. The Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. A legacy is something that is handed down from one period of time to another period of time. Whoa! That means this album is a legacy! Whoa! 
And maybe the Holy Spirit is like God's legacy for us. The Holy Spirit helps us know God right now. Just like the Holy Spirit helped that man from Ethiopia all those years ago. One person who helps me know things is my mom. Like how to do my hair and how to be brave. Seeing this picture of her when she was my age, ready to go to church, makes me want to know more about how she started to love Jesus. What about your family? I know families are all different and some probably don't have picture albums, but everyone has stories. I bet your family has some exciting stories that you'll want to know. And of course, the Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. Friends, it's been fun. And I think I'll look through more of these pictures now. Thanks for sort of time traveling with me today to learn about the Holy Spirit. I love growing with all of you. See you next time. Peace. Thanks, Callie, for that amazing Bible story. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit was given to us to be a helper and to help us tell others about Jesus. Just like Phil helped the man from Ethiopia understand the Bible, the Holy Spirit goes with us. Just like moms and dads and teachers and others help us know things, so does the Holy Spirit help us know about God. Now let's say our verse one more time. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. And that's found in Romans 8, 14. Good job, boys and girls. Now, before we go today, I want everyone to bow your head and close your eyes and let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for your helper, the Holy Spirit, that you love us so much that you sent a helper to be with us every day. We thank you that you love us and we ask you to be with us this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. We'll see you back next Sunday.